MTX MTX training ammo from Arex. This is a non-lethal marking training ammunition that can be used for foursome force. So yes, you can actually shoot your buddies and not kill them. But it can also be used in different kind of ways that normal ammunition would be too dangerous to use. Task Force 69 online. Operation is a go. Smoke out. Movement spotted. Suspect down, clear to move. Go, go, go! Room up front. Flashbang out! Clear! Clear. Um, what's that smell? <laughs> So this is essentially just spicy paintball. Yes and no. Uh, the thing is that this kind of training ammo is primarily made for professional use. Because yes, you can use airsoft and even paintball for certain types of training. But this kind of training ammo that is very super realistic comes into play in also very super realistic training. Because the upside of this is that you can use your duty firearm, a handgun or a rifle that you would normally use and just do a small modification to it and everything stays the same. The only difference is that it has a bit less recoil, it doesn't have a loud bang and essentially it's non-lethal. So it's safe to shoot at other people that have safety equipment on. But Giga, this is nothing new, you may say. I was training with this kind of ammo 10 years ago. Well, yeah, that is true. The concept of training marker ammunition is not new and AREX did not invent it. They made some small but very important improvements that make this system much more functional and better than most of the competitors on the market today. I love this. Uh, MTX ammo, unlike some of the other alternatives on the market, it does not leave residue in the barrel. It works very reliably and also works in fully automatic. Consistently. No pew, pew. Pew, 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 pew mode. I'm not sure if this can be seen on the video, but the recoil of the 5.56 MTX is very comparable to real rounds. Quite a powerful boy. Who's there? Almost right the, like the real thing. Hello. Arex makes the 5.56 MTX ammo in two different configurations. One is normal that works in most assault rifles and the second one is linked and it's a bit more powerful and meant to be uh, used in support weapons. Sir! Please, stop resisting! I know that the linked MTX ammo has a very specific and niche use, but it's definitely the most fun of them all. Let's check out how the MTX ammo works and why it's so effective. The casing is made out of two parts and essentially works as a piston. The round is powered by a standard primer that provides enough pressure to extend the casing, thus cycling the gun, but also propelling the projectile out of the barrel. This is done by a small opening in the case that controls the amount of gases released and keeps the pressures at a safe level. The projectile consists of three parts, the plastic cup that contains the coloring, rubber end piece 
that gives it some weight and the secret sauce, a copper ring or a wipe if you will. Essentially, this is just a thin o-ring that is oversized, so when it's pushed through the barrel, it engages in the grooves and lands, spinning the projectile and stabilizing it. The result is good accuracy, consistency, but especially a clean barrel. If you imagine, every time the projectile goes through the barrel, the copper wipe will clean out all of the residue from the previous projectiles, so there is no plastic or even no color residue left in the barrel. This is a game changer for the training ammo, because you can shoot reliably, you can load full magazines and you can fire hundreds and hundreds of rounds in one training without a single issue. The marking compound in the projectile is made of a non-toxic coloring with consistency of a thick gel. It doesn't dry out, it's easy to wipe off and it does not permanently stain the clothing. When the bullet hits the surface, it starts to flatten out, opens the sides of the plastic cup and pushes out the coloring. Now check out how the barrel looks after a full day of shooting. Clean like a whistle. I'm the most accurate person in Polinar Tactical. The sniper. Kurba! Unlike the competition, MTX training ammo is not limited to just 10 rounds, but can be filled to full capacity in the magazine, and the best thing is that it works reliably. Allegedly, the MTX handgun training ammunition should work up to 25 meters, and we will test this but first, let's do some accuracy testing at 15 meters. Let's try to do a good group. That's not bad. Not bad at all. And one flyer. Idiot. 25 meters was easy. When we saw that it's so accurate and it has such a good range, I went there, loaded another magazine and tried it at 50 meters. The problem was just the drop itself. I had to aim over here with the sights to hit here on the target. But as you can see, it's accurate and the range is actually mind blowing. So now I'm the cameraman because the <laughs> cameraman will get run over by bullets, man. It hurts like an airsoft. That's okay. So the thing is, before I was very confident in saying that it's super reliable and then just after that fuck off fucking helicopter at the butter. <laughs> helicopter is helicopter! <laughs> helicopter, helicopter! <laughs> para cover, para cover. <laughs> <laughs> so our camera operator wants to know what this does to a car at close range. Hmm. No damage at all. The recoil on this one, it's not the same as with live rounds, but it's, uh, it's hefty. Okay, so we discovered that an AR has less consistent groupings than the handgun. The difference is that that MTX handgun, the Arex Delta, was made specifically to shoot this ammunition. But with an AR, you're just using the standard barrel and you change the bolt. So that could influence on... The target here. Here I have the What Would Stoner Do rifle with a 16 inch barrel and a suppressor. I'm not sure if it will work with a suppressor on, I'm not sure if the, the rounds will hit the suppressor, but I will just try first three and then we'll see. Valhalla suppressor, buy in Polinar Tactical Shop! It seems to be working, but just in case, I will remove the suppressor so we have more accurate results. You have to censor this for YouTube. So the longer barrel, different twist, definitely makes a difference in the groupings and accuracy. At 50 meters, I was able to make reliable hits on the target, then went further and couldn't hit the target anymore. So 
I think you could push it because obviously the bullets still have enough energy just I would need to aim way up here probably no damage at all <laughs> this ammunition is car safe now we're gonna see how drive-by actually feels oh fuck ah! Ah! <laughs> this is fucking awesome <laughs> now since we're using real firearms for the training more safety conscious viewers should already ask what if you have an Alec Baldwin in your training you think this is gonna hurt well if you load a real round into your magazine during training it should not fire through the MTX training system but just to be safe, we removed the gunpowder from all of the rounds so we don't have an out of battery detonation. Just in case. As you can see, the round was loaded in the chamber but did not fire. So I tried to forcefully load a real round. As you can see, the firing pin does not reach it. We tried this a couple of times and it is safe. Okay, we're just chilling, you know, here riding with the boys. Just doing some drive-bys and stuff, you know, training. Shit, I still, he's still moving. Task failed successfully. <laughs> the MTX training ammo is very versatile, gives you a lot of options. The MTX ammo gives you a lot of unconventional options for training like moving targets, moving vehicles, moving vehicle targets and it's safe. 